Doctor, doctor, congratulations. <laughs> you have a baby girl. No, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, you thank you, Lord. Uh, would you like to see the baby? Why not? Why not? My first child.
We have a special case on our hands. We need to refer the baby to Mercy Children Hospital for further investigation. Please, keep me posted with updates. All right, Doctor. Shakins. Yes, Doctor. You were referred from uh, Mercy Children Hospital. Yes. Has she ever saw it? <sighs> well, among other problems that she has, she also has a cleft palate. <laughs> And this is why she finds it very difficult to suck. Oh. Cleft palate means that there is a problem with the upper part of the mouth. And uh, with this, there is a communication between the mouth and the nose abnormally. Well, you should not give her any peppery food until she's 18. And then you may also need to feed her gently, I mean with care. Because there is every tendency that the food will be aspirated or it comes out through the nose. As a matter of fact, you will need to be careful with whatever goes into this child's mouth. There is microcephaly. There is media to lateral down slanting of the papillary tissue. She has notching of the lower eyelids. She has hypertelorism. There is micrognatia or relative microglossia. Right microtria. There is also an incomplete cleft of the heart palate. She is likely to have um, delayed developmental milestones. This is actually a syndrome. It's a genetic disorder that is characterized by deformities of the eyes, hair, cheekbone and chin. Complications may include 
breathing problems, bad vision, cleft palate problems, and uh, and uh, of course she may find it difficult to walk. Symptoms cannot be cured, but may be managed with reconstructive surgery at a particular age. She will also be needing hearing aids, speech therapy, and other assistive devices. Mind you, she will be prone to infections. Lord Jesus, what have I done to deserve this from you? I served you faithfully with everything in me, yet you think this is the best gift I deserve? You and I know that I don't deserve this. God. So, what is the essence of keeping this baby? Nobody can blame me for this. Thank you very much, oh, Ma. Honestly, I'm very sorry I couldn't make the name ceremony of the baby. Ah, it's okay, it's okay, Ma. <laughs> so, what's her name? Boluwatife. Ah, Boluwatife. She will fulfill the purpose of our creation Amen. in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Can I Thank you, Ma. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> My baby. Jesus. Uh, it is well. It is well. Regards to your family. showed me in the revelation that she's the cause of her predicament. Hmm, you know, our God cannot be mocked. Whatever a man sows, he reaps. She must have committed an unforgivable sin, which God could not overlook. Hmm, you are in the spirit. God specifically told me it was as a result of an abortion she committed in the past. Jesus. Whereas, if she has confessed her fault to the brethren, who could have long stood in gap? Jesus, I am sure. I'm very sure that child is not from God. Mm -hmm. Because the scripture says, all good and perfect gifts come from God. Hmm. Oh, amen. No. Ah, sister Adupe. Adupe. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon, ma. Beautiful baby. How are you? <laughs> the glory of the Lord is just radiating God in your bless life. You. Mm -hmm. What? My sister, yes. me, I will go and tell the children teacher. They must not take this baby or else me, I will draw my child. Who did this? Eh? How I wish that somebody can just tell her the truth. Who? If there is anybody that will just woke up to her and that child. God, why have you allowed this to happen to me? Why? Sincerely, I don't understand. I don't get it. I have served you with everything in me. My time, my money, my strength. Even when I was pregnant, I served you wholeheartedly. Why you have made this happen is what I don't get. Yes, all things work together for good 
to them who love God and who are the called according to his purpose. But how this will work for my good is what I don't know. Comfort others with the comfort you have received. You have received. Comfort others with the comfort you have received. Comfort others with the comfort you have received. Comfort others with the comfort you have received. You know, sometimes <laughs> we don't need to understand these ways before we walk in them. Do we? His thoughts towards us are still good. I want you to stop putting yourself through this emotional stress and come to bed. Eh? My maternity leave will soon be over. I don't know how I'm going to cope with this. I don't know how. I've been thinking about that also. Um, and I, I still think we should try my Your mom. Your mom who refused to come take care of her granddaughter just because she could not stand her appearance. That was why I called it a trial. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I want ya wore, I want to do alone. I'm the one who does it. Call on us, your mother, your brother, your sister, your niece. Hey, be my mommy. She ti bogo in your body, your kawasile. Ati losi deki, ati losi rishi rishi bi. Mo so ba mo de tojo mo niye. She ina awa so ba de tojo mo mo niye ni. Kini magba to wim. Oh, mommy. Emi ela mama. Emi ka? Ola ma jenri ruwe. Eh? Eh, say, I'm a tip of one day, care, walk or let. Let one came here while cake came one more by more you talk. But so, but here, Pania, I must say, I'm sorry. All I'm a bummer, Yabon Lay. Emily, I bummer, come for me, left for my dear. Yeah, welcome, Uncle. He can't let you ready. Oh, what, ba? You don't know that you like that. Oh, I'm a rah, 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 I can't let you. Oh, yeah, I can't Thank you very much. Alright, Stadupe. Don't be long, eh? Oh, my well. dear. Ah, would this be inconvenient for you? Mommy, please leave convenience. The most important thing is the relief you have given me, so I'll see you in the evening. Okay, my dear. Yes, Bele? Yes, Alright. Why? Babe, honestly, I have to go drop my baby at my mom's place. I'm quite a distance from my house. Can I have the report? Now listen to me, you. Do you think you can just be coming to work any you like? Give the excuse that you're a nursing mother? Are you the first to become a nursing mother? Or are you going to be the last? Listen to me. I don't tolerate nonsense. And I'm not going to start with you. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry, sir. You had better be sorry for yourself. Complete? Yes, sir. Hello. Hello. 
Welcome back. Thank you. Take it easy. Thank you. Ah, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Well then. Ah. So, how was your day? Did it go? My day was seriously hectic. And then Mama complained that um, Bolo has been stolen since then. Uh -uh. And that she's been running high temperature. Seriously? <sighs> she still feels hot. I don't get. <laughs> but when the hospital a few days ago now and then, she just completed her medications. Honestly, I don't know. Where is the time and money for all that? We won't give up on our health. Let's take her back to the hospital. Sir, mm. so, madam, your baby is very prone to infections because of her unclosed mouth. So, you have to avoid dust and too much breeze. Moreover, Feeding her will take some ingenuity because um, you cannot feed her like every other normal child. Whatever she takes in will come out through her nostrils. And again, the result here shows that she is lactose intolerant, meaning you must avoid milk in our food. I will suggest you stick to isomil. Isomil. Only for now. And please, stop giving her none. This isomil, how much does it cost? Isomil should be about 1,500 naira. That should not be difficult for you to get. That would be difficult too. That would be very, very difficult. Eh? How much are we earning? How much are we earning if we put your salary and my salary together? How, how, how many cans of food would that buy per month? Ah, it would be difficult too. It would be difficult. And um, the, be, be, beside that, we have other responsibilities at home. Eh? We have to feed. Eh? House rent. What about house rent? And then we, 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 we have to, to, to get transportation to the office every day. Ah. And you know that she, 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 she also has to feed very, very well before she goes for, 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 her, for her first operation. Ah. And besides, this, this food is very, very scarce. Where are we going to get it? Where are we going to get it? Ah, this one I, I don't get to. I, I don't know what to do. Very, very difficult. Ah. Who's fault? Who's fault? 
ma se pe bi ati en se wo eni se bo o ba ri bayi se bo o ba ri bayi nigba to wo to wa ni bi o dede ojo ori titi e rada rada osi ba ri gogo koko re da so o ri nkan e ri ti to le oko lo de fi mo gba le oko lo ba ra di ri osi o re se be se ti ri ti ri o ri o a ti ko mo ko ko sinu shoko to won ni ti yo lo ju ada bayi won ti gba le oko lo won yi o ri o ri gbe mi ya Was told anybody? Oh my God! If I knew you were going through all of this, I would not have reacted the way I did. I'm sorry, Dupe. I'm really sorry. Please. I'd like you to please find a place in your heart to forgive me. <sighs> Hello, Big Boy. Please come. I want uh, the best father. Yes, right away. Right away. Yeah. 
Let me have the queries. I'm sure you've not met uh, Dukwe. No. Uh, that's Dukwe. Oh. She's one of the most dedicated, effective, prompt, and active members of staff of this organization. Wow. Um, she's someone I can recommend any time, any day. She's good to know. Good Thank to know, Mother. Thank you very Please much. Please do keep it up. All Thank right. You, Thank you, sir. Have a nice. Please have your seat. Thank, Thank you, sir. <laughs> How's it been going? Start up Please get up. You need to eat your food now. I've made water for you in the in the bathroom, so you have to hurry up with this. Thank you. Do you want me to help you with the water? Mm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I really, really appreciate you. Oh. <laughs> Has Bolu at the first stopped crying? Oh, she's sleeping already. The more reason why you need to hurry with this, so you can also sleep. Mm? All right. <laughs> Do you want me to? Mm. Oh, you're fine. Okay. Is there something on the fire? The steel. <laughs> oh. Uh, this is nice. Come <laughs> join me. I just finished mine. Really? Mm. Honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna cope. When Shola eventually leaves us. Especially with Bolu Atife. I've been thinking about that also. But somehow I know that God will help us. So, how is the baby doing? <laughs> they are fine. Huh? They, are, they say hello. Hey, hello. <laughs> yeah, it's your food. <sighs> Honestly, I really want to thank God for your mom. She's a great woman. Mm. For allowing us to bring Bolu Atife from Monday to Friday every week. Ah, God will bless her for us. Amen. Well, I also want to say a very big thank you to my husband mm. for standing by me through everything. You're yeah, making me feel shy right everything. now. Everything. <laughs> And also for loving me unconditionally. Mm. Thank you. It's my turn now. So I also want to thank God for my wonderful wife. <laughs> glorious woman. Mm. A woman that is full of splendor and altogether beautiful. Mm -hmm. Heavenly sent uh, gift uh. to my life. <laughs> Please, how is she? 
She's very beautiful. Oh. <sighs> she, she's okay. You're looking fantastically good this morning. Thank you, sir. This is for you, sir. Oh. Wow. This is a nice car. I like this. And I'll keep it right here for everyone who walk into this office to see. <laughs> because the truth is, all of my life that I've been working in offices, no one has ever deemed it fit to give me a gift, be it big or small. Everyone just has own the big boss has all he needs. <laughs> so he doesn't have need of anything. Well, I'm happy you appreciate the token, sir. I really do. If I may ask, why did you give me this? Oh, that's how I give everybody in the office every Christmas. And mm -hmm. I'm giving others theirs that this is for you. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks. And that's why I like your spirit. Ever cheerful, ever hopeful, active. And th that's the way to go. Thank you, sir. Um, let me ask you, how is your daughter doing, Bolotife? She's fine, sir. <laughs> You know what, Duque, don't be surprised. Hmm? Ever since I resumed in this office, I've asked a few questions. All right? Um, have you ever heard of Rose Foundation? Rose Foundation? No, sir. Um, well, I think Google has a whole lot of things we all need to know about. I would advise you search for them and they could be of assistance. Uh, now, please, can you tell me a few things about your daughter's condition? Um. I gave him just 30 naira worth of greeting card. And by the close of day, he called me and gave me 300,000 naira. 300,000 naira? What fraction is that? Ha! Ah. Thank you, Jesus. Ha! Ah, thank you, Jesus. That means Boluwatife can have the first surgery as soon as possible. I'm telling you, you won't know how happy I am. Ah, Lord, we thank you. Ah. This God is too good. Oh. You can sing that again. <laughs> hey! Ah, Lord Jesus, we thank you. Okay. Ah, Jesus will show. Everything went well. Just that she was hyperactive. <laughs> but there's no problem. Thank God. She will need to be with us for 10 days. After which we will check if the surgery is successful. So that means she's going to be on the same spot for 10 days? Oh. Yes. And if it fails, we may need to start all over again. Ah! <laughs> ha! 300,000. The devil is in life. This operation is successful in Jesus' name. <laughs> hey!
Rilai Bo le yo se lomo omo tinun re o ni dun. Sugbon ta na ni o se. Ta ni o se. To mo omo re o wa je. Eh eh bora. Tinun re o dun si. Mami. Mo ti so fun yin lai moye igba. Boluwa ti fe loruko omo ti wa. Ki se bora? Ah ah, ki se bore mama pe le bora mo. Oda. Ka ti e so wipe e fe fi oju yin ri boluwa ti fe. Kilo de, ni gba ta bi omo keji. To je wi pe yoju si wa ni gba ta nse ko mo. Ko wa okay now. Ele yo da. Eh oro lo so kale. Ah. Iwo na gbon to wi. Ko si nto buru no pe bi mo gidi ki wa ba yin toju omo. Sugbon mo le wa ko lu are omo foju koko kuko. Ko lu are omo foju koko kuko. Abi bo mo se fe wa tin oni re bora te gbe kale. Bon, moti fè wà. Ki xè bòra. Ma mè ma ma kpè lè bòra mò ki xè bòra. Ki xè bòra. Ki wà ni, kò mò tan la rè jè. Ki xè bòra. Bè nyè bà bì nè ki. Tò wà tò rì kpè ki nè ki o lè dò mò. Ti wà nè sò e bò. Ti fì mbò lò rù. E nyò sò nè ki dò dè nyè o. I nè ki ni nè ki o mò jè. Ti ti tà la yè rà yè. I nè ki. I nè nè ki o mò jè. Wò, i wà nè wò nè kì. Oh 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 Tori re me ke gba jare ti me lo ke ba 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 fa gbe mi be e mo da kun e mo gba nka le ngba ti baba o se wa ji won ni daju saka omo yi won mo mo ran si o ni o lati nu orun apadi ni ati ran si o pe ko le ba gbon olowo danu ko le ba so de lewu kan sugbon mo wa lo na ba yo wa won ni baba ti se tutu ta gbe bo wo ro wo ni o ni o pada si bi ti ti nbo bo ko lowo re nu o de bi pe ri o kan mo da o la mu pe abi wo lo pa yan ni abi kini kan ni ko lowo po o le ku loju orun ti oro ra sun orun re je re ti o toju orun ti o bo soju ku ti wa la aye re o tan ko le ni fo kan bale nti mo pe o sinu o mami honestly kan ni mo mo pe ru oro ile fe ma ba mi so ni Mbati e ma shokpo wa ato, kinto kuro la ti le. Bode, bode, ha, mwa ti kwa ma itan. Mwa ti kwa, kwa ori mi e le da mi. Yo sa anon re, akwa agba anon, ti e gwe kwa ole jika. Olo mwa ba angba da anon. Bode! You welcome once again to this live program where we do have great people with great minds of helping their fellow human beings. Today we have a special guest. She is the director of Rose Foundation. It's an NGO 
in person of Mrs. Sophia Marcus. Mrs. Sophia. Good day, everyone. I am Sophia Marcos, just like she has rightly said. I hope you are good. What brought you here today? I am here in respect of our special children suffering from different syndromes. They need to undergo a series of surgeries running into millions of Naira. We need this money to bring in surgeons from South Africa buy their medications and some other things. For instance, Boluatife here will live a normal life like every other child if you all rise up to help her. Just like every other children in our care that we are soliciting for. Thank you. I believe we still have great people with great hearts in Nigeria and all over the world listening to us and watching us at home. Madam, can you please introduce yourself and tell us why you're here? Thank you. My name is Mrs. Dupe Gushaki. I am Bolu first mother. I'm from Mundo State in Nigeria. I want to plead with Nigerians home and abroad. <laughs> Please help this foundation raise money to help our children. <laughs> for instance, we need 1.8 million for my daughter's first surgery. <laughs> please, please, I plead for mercy. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Stop crying, madam. The good people of Nigeria have heard you and I believe you will hear their positive response shortly. Mrs. Sophia, in case they want to donate, where can they forward the donation to? All donations should be forwarded to Rose Foundation's account and it will be channeled to the appropriate quarters. We are all familiar with Rose Foundation. It's an NGO that is really making impacts in Nigeria. They handle different cases of children with health challenges by inviting professionals from abroad to treat different kinds of ailments. Any support you channel to them will definitely be used for the right purpose because it's an organization with integrity. We'll now go on a short break. We'll be right back. Thank you. So sorry, Mrs. Obushaki, for keeping you with <laughs> It's all right, ma'am. Oh. Congratulations. After the last program on Thursday, on getting to the office on Friday, I received a phone call from the Odo State Governor showing interest in Bolo at the first case. As I'm speaking right now, Undo State Government has paid a sum of 1.8 million naira for Bolua Tife surgery. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. There is an issue. We realized after examining the girl that um, she just had a surgery. And it would be risky for us to perform another surgery on her now. No. Considering her age, you know, she's still very young. So I'm advising that um, we wait for a few more years before we perform another procedure. I I'll soon be with you. I'm sorry, I'll come back now. I'm so sorry. This is well. I want to make a request. In order not to waste the materials we've got for Bolo Atife, 
Can we use it for someone who is on this set? Please, I promise. Anytime I have another opportunity of this service, I won't forget your daughter. I promise to do it for her free of charge. Please, save someone's child. you because you, he created you like this because you are a special child okay and now when you have your family and family is the best friend ever okay congratulations madam ah. the procedure was successful thank you she may just need to be with us for two weeks. Okay. Right. Thank you very much, but Doctor. God bless you. It went very well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Can I see her? Open your eyes. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. God has created you to be a beauty and nothing else shall be said concerning you. You are blessed and highly favored. You are created to do great things. You are a star that must shine. You are beautiful. God has created you for a purpose. He has plans for your life and nothing will stop you from fulfilling God's plan. You are precious. You are loved. You are a perfect being created by God to do great things. The purpose for God concerning you will come to pass. I had a chat with the South African professor concerning Buluat effect. He said we have to come to South Africa for further investigation on our case. And uh, how much is a trip to South Africa now? 700,000 Naira. 700,000. That should be roughly one million naira, considering some other expenses. <sighs> and where's the money? And you know I've been banned from taking loans from the office because the last one I took, I've not been able to to pay. Up. And you too, you know, if we put your salary together for one year, it's not even up to that amount. So what are we going to do now?
ser um one trade puzzle, né? Ah, Mr. Yuji. To me? God. God. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Ah, Mr. Yuji. Mr. Yuji. Madam, your daughter is suffering from Treacher Collins syndrome. It is a very, very rare syndrome. Very, very rare. As a matter of fact, it occurs in um, about um, only one out of 50,000 people. In fact, none of our students here have ever seen such a case before. And I doubt if they will ever see such before they graduate. So, Madam, please, I would um, like to ask your permission to bring them to see your daughter. <sighs> now, this, uh, this Treacher Collins syndrome is incurable. The best we can do is a reconstructive surgery, such as you have been doing. Mm -hmm. So, what we intend to do here is to inject fat into her cheek. Mm -hmm. And so, when uh, when you return back to South Africa next time, we will uh, walk on an eyelid. So she is going to see some other doctors, okay? And uh, she will have to also undergo some other tests. But I want to assure you one thing, madam. We will try our best for your daughter. We will. Hmm. <laughs> You will excel in Jesus' name. Before my very eyes, eh? I will see you, eh? Big girl! God bless you. Ah, ah. Mommy, you say no, I cannot just allow you to be suffering like that. I have to. You mean not judge the You see this that I'm holding? It's for bathing. This is soap. And this you will pour inside her water. You will not use poncho. It's just the soap we will use to bathe for her. That is that one. <laughs> and you see, this is not ordinary razor. I've asked Baba. He said we will use this to make 50 incisions on her head. But before we do that, we will shave her head. After that, we will rub in this powder on her head. Who? Bulwatife, of course. Which Bulwatife? Ah, only you, my bag bag woje. Devil help those who help themselves. We cannot be watching it. Baba say she's an emiri. And if we do all these things the way we're supposed to do, she will become a normal child. Ah, mommy. Hello, Tosi. Yes, ma. Can I send the money to your account now? Okay, please do. Do you still have my account details? Yes, ma. I'm in front of the bank. I will do right away. Okay, good. Thanks.
So sin. Why did you send all the money into my account? You were supposed to send only the interest, which is just 33,000 naira, not 1 million. Come on. Sorry, I didn't know. I thought I was supposed to send all. You should have asked. Ah, you're going to give me extra work to do now. What do we do now? Don't worry, I'll sort it out somehow. Okay. Thank you, ma. Sorry for the stress. All right. I am afraid this has to happen to you. You see, as a result of some restructuring and reorganization that is currently going on in the company, um, there's an urgent need for us to downsize. And uh, I'm afraid, I'm afraid you are involved. Sir, sir, please, you need to do something. I need this job. For the sake of my family, please, I beg you. I'm afraid to pray. There's absolutely nothing I can do. You see, the, the instructions that we're carrying out came from above. So our hands are tied. Our hands are tied. I'm sorry. Please help me. Please help me. I need it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <sighs> Firstly, I lost almost a million naira. And now I've lost my job. What is wrong with me? <laughs> it is well. No, it is not well. Can't you see the true picture? I don't have a job anymore. You don't even have a stable job. How do we take care of the children? Oh, it is God that has been taking care of us and the children all this while. Now, I want you to look at it this way. Those guys did not shoot you. And you were even paid off with a tangible sum of amount. The exact amount of money we need for Bolu Atife's surgery in Cape Town. After which we have nothing left. Can't you see that? <laughs> Honey, what are you doing in the bedroom alone? The children want you to join them in the game. Come on. We are not giving up on this. Not now, not soon, not at all. Sister Bisi and her husband have offered to get us accommodation in South Africa.
Oh, sorry, madam. Yes, madam. The surgery we are about to carry out on your daughter will take five hours. <laughs> yes, sir. This is what we intend to do. We will cut her up and take cartilage from her rib to make the ear. <laughs> her lung will be suspended. You know what that means? No playing. No running around. No strenuous exercise of any sort. I 
right side is over again. I can't go. Cape Town is uh, 2 hours 20 minutes by flight and uh, about 18 hours by road. It is too far, it is too far. And this is what I think we should do. Okay? Since you are in Johannesburg, I will suggest that you take her to see a general practitioner. Uh, yes, I think that will be better. Thank you. Okay. Alright then. Honey, what did yes. the doctor say? Um, you stay back at home. Sister Dupe and I will go with Bolu Atife. It's okay. It's okay. Hmm? Sister, it's okay. It's just an infection, okay? There's nothing to worry about. I'll just place her on a very strong antibiotics. Just for one week. Um, it will arrest the infection. And the bus will dry off. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Sorry. It is well. I believe all will be well. All will be well. Okay. I'll suggest we go back to see the general practitioner. That's true. You should do something. Okay. Um, no problem. I understand you. Okay. I've observed her closely. I'm sure there's, there's a steady improvement. But I will prescribe a stronger antibiotics for for another one week. Okay. Um, it will stop this time. Don't worry. Hmm? My dear, it will stop, okay? Good girl. Well, she has finished all the antibiotics. But the pulse is still there. I've actually stopped all the drugs. I'm just too sick to do something. It's alright. I know the Lord would never put us to shame. Yeah. I will be praying here too. Start with me. Yeah. Regards to daddy when you get home. I will do that. The victory is permanent in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. I actually thought I'll be able to see our babies before she go. <laughs> but um the major thing is please say me well to them when you come. Day. <laughs> ah yes. <laughs> because this one does not look like one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. But um I must say, you you are born in India. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I look bad. You are supposed to have gone back to South Africa so to be more the cartilage. <laughs> but where is the money for that now? Things have not been easy with us financially since you lost your job. 
and the little I bring home to is not enough. I know God will, God will visit our case and do something. Sincerely, I don't know why it's difficult getting a job. Let us pray. Father, we'll commit everything into your hands, Lord. We we'll pray for your mighty visitation. God, show up and help. Close your eyes. Open it. Close your eyes. Open it. It's there. It's not G. It's, it's there. now. In fact, I don't mind anything right now because Bulu Atifer's health needs serious attention. It is well. If you want to mind, I am going to send an address to your phone now. I want you to give the place a try. I've actually spoken with the manager and I'll be waiting for the feedback. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Good morning, Ma. Hello, dear. How are you? Fine. You look good this morning. Mm -hmm. Stressed up. Why? It is well. Mm. It is well. Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm.
Mrs. Dupe, you've been with us for just three weeks and you are resigning. What's the problem? Is it not too early for this? Ma, I can't cope. The stress is telling on me. Mm. Moreover, the transport fee is too outrageous. And my daughter. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Please sit down. Let's discuss this. Please have your seat. Thank you. Tell me about your daughter. What's the problem? Ma, I actually took up this job because of her. I need to raise funds for her. She needs urgent medical attention. Ooh. And since I took this job, I've not been able to do that. Ma, sometimes for four days, I don't get to see her and her other siblings. I don't know what is going on in their lives. <coughs> it's okay. Yeah, it is okay. I can understand. You know what? Let me hold on to the letter. I'll give you leave to go and think about it. And when you return, you give me your conclusion. Fair enough? So, what's the conclusion now? There is no going back. This is Okun Shakya. This is the token from us to support your daughter. I hope it will go a long way. It's been nice working with you. We're going to miss you. Thank you. Okay, thank, you. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You appreciate it. It's okay. Ah. You take care of yourself. Thank you very much. Sir. Oh. Robert, you said you asked to see me. Yes. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Study away. Yes, sir. I never knew how much I've I've wronged you until today. I really felt bad for myself and the Holy Spirit has dealt severely with my conscience. Um, I'm really very sorry and that from the depth of my heart. Uh, please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I don't understand, sir. Yes, you will. You will. You will. Look, uh, you've been worshipping in this church for decades because you got married in this church and you're still here, not just as a member, but as a faithful and committed minister in this local assembly. I'm aware of our Buluati first case, because I christened her, but not one moment has this church committed a dime towards our welfare. That, well, at least you are praying for us. Come on. Come on, Sister Dupe. Shouldn't it be more than prayers? I was really, really challenged by the testimony you gave in the church earlier today of how you worked in a place for just three weeks and they gave you 750,000 Naira towards our welfare. Oh, let's call a spade a spade. What's bad is bad. And I really want to apologize personally. 
and I promise to make it good to you, not just in words, but also in action. You didn't offend me, sir. <laughs> Sister Dupe, you just tell me, how much will it take to fly Buluatife back to South Africa? And, you know, of course, including her welfare, her treatment, and all, all the other things. You waited too long before bringing her. Huh? The infection had eaten deep. In fact, if you had waited a little longer, the infection would have eaten into her brain. Oh. And it could have caused total paralysis or even death. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Anyway, the surgery was successful. But... But what? Doctor, but what? In the course of cleaning the infection, her ear was wiped off. But uh, because she is a girl, we left her an earlobe in case she wants to use earrings in the future. <laughs> we are sorry, madam. We tried our best. <laughs> Wow, you're very right. You see, God created you in a special way because there is a purpose for it. And that purpose will come to pass. <laughs> come on. I woke up after Bob Why? Why did it take me to my mother? Why am I different from other creatures? Why did it take me to a world where I will not be accepted? Why was I the most unappetizing on earth? God heard my cry, but it gave me an answer to my many questions. God answer is the purpose of my existence, to cope up others with the cause of I have received. Now I have stopped asking God why you made me the way you made me. Because I am not a mistake in the plans of God. If I were a mistake, God would have erased me from the earth. But instead, He showed me eternal love. This is who God wants me to be. I am a perfect creation. I am more pure and beautiful. I am born like a prayer, meaning the way God wants me. <laughs> 